Hopefully Michael Rensing with Ollie Kahn still sidelined with leg problems. Mid first half, the support for Rensing begins. Vicente Lizarazu's long ball working out for Paulo Guerrero. And he whips one past Oka Nikolov, one zip posts in the 21st. But 10 minutes later, Frankfurt replies. He had a throw in, glancing to Christoph Proust. No chance for Kahn's replacement. Nice effort from Proust. However, that just seemed to get Bayern Munich going all over again. Watch the slick ball movement on this attack. Guerrero with the heel for Balak, and he's on the score sheet once more. This time, Bayern is up by a count of 2-1. to one. Just before the break, it's a two-goal lead for the Allianz Arena faithful to enjoy the ball. Splitting the black line, or the back line, that is. Off to the races is Guerrero. Paulo with the poise to put it away, and it's 3-1 for the home team. We don't need that tele Latino line of truth in this stuff. They were looking good. Just past the hour, 4-1 Bayern Munich. Captain wide open at the back post as everybody gets out of the way and lets him take care of things. He's got two. Frankfurt claws back to within two, but Byron puts it away. Claudio Pizarro icing on the cake. 5-2. 11 wins and 11 league home games for the leaders. Miroslav Kloza back from injury, ready to add to his league lead in goals. Rita Bremen playing host to Borussia Mönchengladbach. And Kloza doesn't waste time doing so. That is adding to his league goals total. Johan Makud on the money with the cross. Kloza there to nod one past Keller. Kloza with his 17th of the season. 1-0 for De Bremen in the 16th. Not much Keller can do. McCood and Kloza combining for the opener without a lot of heat from the visiting side's defense. Now, minutes later, Bremen, they will nod in another. McCood is setting the stage from a corner kick this time. Keller robbing Frank Ferenhorst, but Ivan Klasnic all over the rebound and allowed to be so. Klasnic with a nose for goal, and he shows it off from that dead ball play. As you might have noticed, the K is taking care of the scoring for Werder Bremen as Klasnic joins Kloza in finding twine. Just past the half hour, almost a 3-0 affair. The corner knocked on for Klasnic, but he hits the bar. Werder Bremen eating the Mönchengladbach defense alive, almost notching three. And 30 minutes or thereabouts. Much the same in the second half, but watch Keller shine here. The U.S. international out very quickly to deny Kloza. Kloza, but no cigar, as they say. Keller helping hold Werder Bremen to two goals as the host crews to what is a 2-0 victory when all is said and done. Uh, Samuel Ito. Out the two sides, Hamburg hosting Stuttgart Sunday. The home side looking for a win to move them back into second place as they try to keep pace with leaders Bayern Munich. And this wouldn't help the home side's cause. Khalid Boularouz coughing up the ball in his own half. Jesper Gronkers cross finding Silvio Meisner. And the midfielder makes it 1-0 visitors just before halftime. And Stuttgart would come close to doubling their lead in the 63rd minute. Andreas Henkel's cross from the right finds the head of Christian Tiffert, but the effort comes back off the crossbar. Goalkeeper Stefan Wachter probably getting a slight touch on the ball just to keep it out. And things go from bad to worse for Hamburg. They're reduced to 10 men in the 88th. Captain Daniel Van Boyten shown a second yellow card for this push on Meisner. The big Belgian feels he's the victim of some play acting, but Mr. Merck has no problem flashing the red. And this match went from dramatic to comical. Keep an eye on Vokter in the green sweater there. The ball gets humped back to Raphael van der Vaart, and he figures he'll play the back pass, but hold on, my friend. Where's your keeper? Exactly, at the other end of the pitch. Mario Gomes finishes it off. A shambolic performance by Hamburg as they fall 2-0 to Stuttgart at home and fail to keep pace in the race for second.